Paul returns by way of Troas and Miletus. After the riot in Ephesus, Paul made his way to Troas, and then sailed to Macedonia. Wherever he went, he encouraged Christians in each place he visited, and told people about Jesus. Paul then moved south into Greece and the region of Achaia, where he remained for three months. Again he encouraged the believers wherever he went to believe in Jesus. Paul was preparing to sail back to Syria when he discovered a plot by some Jews on his life, so he decided to return through Macedonia. He then headed north to Philippi. Several men were traveling with Paul. They were Sepater from Berea, Aristarchus and Secundus from Thessalonica, Gaius from Derbe, Timothy, Tychicus and Trophimus from Asia. They went ahead and waited for Paul at Troas. When the Passover ended, Paul boarded a ship at Philippi heading for Troas. After a five-day trip Paul joined the other men in Troas where they stayed for a week. On the first day of the week, Paul gathered with the local believers to share in breaking bread. He was preaching to them, since he was leaving the next day, he kept talking until midnight. The upstairs room was lit with many flickering lamps. As Paul spoke on and on, a young man named Eutychus, sitting on the windowsill, became very drowsy. Finally, he fell sound asleep, and dropped three stories to his death. Paul hurried down, bent over him, and took him into his arms. Don't worry, he said, he's alive. They returned upstairs where Paul continued talking to them until dawn. Meanwhile, Eutychus was taken home unhurt. Paul and his companions traveled to Assos, where they boarded a ship for Mytilene. The next day they sailed past the island of Chios, crossed over to the island of Samos, before arriving at Miletus. Paul didn't stop at Ephesus, as he was hurrying to get to Jerusalem in time for the festival of Pentecost. But when he landed at Miletus, he sent a message to the elders of the church at Ephesus, asking them to come and meet him. When they arrived he told them, You know that from the day I arrived in Asia I have done the Lord's work humbly and with many tears. I have endured many trials and plots. I have had one message for Jews and Greeks alike. They need to repent from sin and turn to God. They must have faith in our Lord Jesus. I am led by the Spirit to go to Jerusalem. The Holy Spirit tells me in city after city that jail and suffering lie ahead, unless I use it for finishing the work of telling others the good news about Jesus, and the wonderful grace of God. Paul told the elders at Ephesus, guard yourselves and God's people. Feed and shepherd God's flock, his church, purchased with his blood. Watch out for false teachers, like vicious wolves, they will come to distort the truth. Remember my care for you for three years and my many tears for you. Paul reminded them that he didn't desired money or fine clothes but had worked to supply his own needs. They should work hard as he had done and remember the words of Jesus, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When Paul finished speaking, he knelt and prayed with them. They all cried and embraced him. They were sad because Paul said that they would never see him again. Then they escorted him to the ship and waved goodbye as he set off. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.